This is the solution to written homework 18. Okay, so plot these. All right, so then the uh, x-intercept The algebraic condition for an x-intercept is when y is 0. So plugging in y is 0, that gives us the equation 2x is uh, 3. So that x is 1.5. So there is an x-intercept at 1.5 comma 0. So I'll plot it in red. So at x is 1.5 and y is 0, so that's here. Uh, there is also a y-intercept. So the y-intercept, the algebraic condition for that is when x is 0. So we'll take that equation and plug in x is 0. So the equation becomes negative y is 3. So y is negative 3. So the point is uh, 0, comma, negative 3. I'll plot this one in green. So 0, negative 3. So that's the that's the y-intercept, and then it's a straight line that um, connects these. So, more or less like that. So now, <clears throat> for part B, find the equation of the line depicted in the plot give your answer in slope-intercept form. Okay, so hopefully the plot has two points on it that are marked out. So here is uh, the point negative 3, negative 1. So this is point negative 3, negative 1. And this is point 2, 3. So to find the slope, well, slope is rise over run. So let's count that. So it's sloping up. So that would be, the rise would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So delta y, the change in y is 4. And then the run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So delta x is 5. <coughs> And looking at that, so from the plot, we can see that this that a point which is on the plot is x1, y1 is 2, 3. And the slope, well, that would be rise over run, so that would be delta y over delta x. That would be uh, 4 over 5. So now we have a point and a slope for that line. So the point-slope uh, formula for a line is the equation y minus y1 is m x minus x1. And we have determined all of those things. So this would be y minus 3 is 4 fifths x minus 2. So that'd be y minus 3 is 4 fifths x minus 8 fifths. So y is 4 fifths x minus 8 fifths plus 3. Well, this is 8 fifths and 3 is 15 fifths. So 15 minus 8 is 7, so there would be 7 fifths. So that would be y is 
4 fifths x plus 7 fifths. And that's the answer.